So before uh, the first break, I just want uh, to introduce stochastic processes. We already have seen ideas of stochastic processes. And uh, here we have the mathematical definition of that. So a stochastic process is a collection of random variables. We have seen a, a random variable uh, is nothing but a concept on transferring uh, information which is observable uh, to be um, available in the probability state space to assign a certain um, a quantity, namely the probability or the distribution to this variable. And together, with a stochastic process, there comes a collection of sigma algebras, Ft in this case, uh, which is a model for delivering information or for spreading information uh, in terms of a timely evolution. Often the state space are the normal variable, uh, the uh, standard uh, numbers, uh, so normal numbers, or the positive numbers, or some given uh, interval maybe from zero to some kind, uh, some capital T, which is the maturity. <clears throat> and uh, a stochastic process is not only a collection of random variables, but it has uh, two variables, namely this omega and this t. So for fixed t, it's a random variable because it depends on omega, but if we fix omega, uh, it is a function from this uh, calligraphic t to the real numbers. And uh, for example, if we have uh, the state space to be r plus in this case, here we have a function to r, and this is nothing but what we uh, know from analysis. So this is a kind of, of function. So maybe not a, a real smooth one, but this is the function, big T in here. And on the other hand side, if we fix this T and take the dependence on omega, then it is a random variable. What are uh, stochastic processes used in finance? We have several. So um, we have Brownian motion. We have geometric Brownian motion. We have ornstein uhlenbeck processes, which are very important in interest rate modeling, in volatility modeling. We have square root diffusions. We have Poisson processes, compound Poisson processes. We have normal mean mixtures. We have other types of Levy processes. I just want to get uh, started by considering the Brownian motion. So what is the Brownian motion? The Brownian motion is a stochastic process, which is, uh, for example, r plus to omega or, or 0 to t to, times omega to r. And whenever we have t and omega, it assigns a certain value uh, to these uh, two possible points. And what we know from Brownian motion is that it starts at 0. At 0, it's always 0. So uh, it does not depend uh, which omega we take. It's always 0. Uh, if we fix a certain point t in time, uh, we assign a certain distribution to this random variable, so a random mechanism. We have to specify a random mechanism whenever we work with stochastic quantities. And in case of Brownian motion, we say when we fix t and we have these, this function here, it is from omega to r, then this is a Gaussian distributed random variable. Further technical um, things, the in independent increments property. It's whenever we have a discretization and uh, we take uh, successive steps in this discretization. We take the random variable at t1 minus xt0, xt2 minus xt1, uh, xt3 minus xt2, and so on. Uh, we have that they are independent, so we can calculate this complex probability as a uh, multiplication of several different probabilities. And in fact, these probabilities are also Gaussian at each step. So it's a, a um, possibility to connect uh, the points in a given discretization. 
And finally, it has continuous sample path. So it's a stochastic process which can be uh, drawn without uh, lifting uh, the pen somehow. 